Safety is fast becoming the new leadership. So consider this a primer. On this episode, we'll connect safety to leadership in seven different ways. People work, the human touch in workplace safety. Available everywhere on Amazon. To learn more, go to kevburns.com slash peoplework. Leadership has nothing to do with management. Safety leadership, therefore, has nothing to do with safety management. You don't have to be in management to be a leader. See, leadership is not a position. It's an attitude. Management is the position. One has nothing to do with the other. Safety, too, is an attitude. It's a state of mind and a way of living your life. Safety is the result. Safely is the choice in every moment. Those with a safety leadership attitude will choose to do the job safely in every moment. Now, companies are waking up to the fact that people who blindly follow orders on a job site still get hurt. Helping people to connect with their own leadership abilities can help people to think more clearly on the job. And it's for this reason that in the workplace, safety is fast becoming the new leadership. I mean, look at any list of leadership traits and you'll see a direct relationship to the list of traits of outstanding safety performance. So let's explore those. Here are the list of seven character traits that solid safety leaders will possess. Character trait number one, honesty, which comes wrapped in accountability and responsibility. I mean, any attempt to deflect accountability negates someone's honesty. Honesty is the trait that allows leaders to be vulnerable and accept that they don't know everything. You can fix what you don't know, but you can't fix what you cover up. Honesty is a willingness to be who you are and make no excuses for it. Values and core beliefs are tied to honesty. And one of those core beliefs will be safety and self-preservation. Character trait number one is honesty. Character trait number two, communication. The key to keeping yourself and others safe on a job site. Look. If no one is talking, then no one's listening. And when no one's listening, instructions get missed, people get hurt. Communication doesn't happen by scolding or by lectures either. People don't respond well to scolding and being lectured. Communication involves conversation. People engage themselves in conversation. When they're engaged, they're paying attention. So character trait number two is communication. And speaking of communication, You'll find a full chapter on it in my book, People Work, The Human Touch in Workplace Safety, available around the world on Amazon. And that, shameless commercial, leads right into character trait number three, confidence. Anyone who works without confidence lacks the prime ingredient to make good decisions. Some work is simply intimidating, and, and, and when a worker lacks confidence in performing the job, others are put at risk. When a worker's constantly scolded, he or she's going to lose their confidence. A lack of confidence is a distraction. Setbacks happen on every job site. And when a setback occurs, people turn to those who display confidence and who have this I've got this attitude. Character trait number three is confidence. Now, character trait number four is commitment, perhaps the most contagious of all of the traits. Look, working alongside those without commitment to the job reflects in the crew culture. Knowing that a co-worker could quit at any moment leaves workers unsure and confidence on the job site wanes. However, when you're surrounded by those who have deep-seated commitment for the job, it brings a sense of peace and sureness about doing the job safely. Commitment means focus, and when workers are focused, they'll act safely. Character trait four, commitment. A character trait five, positive attitude. See, regardless of whatever adversity that you may face, your attitude is key. Positive attitude is what turns someone's debilitating roadblock into nothing more than a temporary setback that's easily overcome. People focused on the worst seem to attract the worst. People who can find the silver lining usually emerge as the victors. They see what needs doing, and they take action instead of wallowing in fear. A positive, supportive work site tends to attract those who will contribute to it. So character trait five is a positive attitude. Character trait six, intuition. When you're plugged into your surroundings, you can see what's coming and prepare for it. There's a quiet confidence in simply knowing what is about to happen. 
You can prepare yourself and those around you. You can address issues before they become issues. The tough decisions are easy to decide when you can depend on your gut instinct for answers. Learning to trust yourself is as important as your team learning to trust you. Character trait number six is intuition. And then character trait number seven, a sense of humor. There is no reason that safety can't be fun. The benefits of being safe and happy are, are joyful. So why can't we laugh on the job site? There's little reason to laugh when you don't feel confident, though. You lack commitment or constantly face safety issues. But when you, you and your workmates have this sense of self, you have confidence, great communication, and a great attitude, there's no reason that you can't have fun at work. Humor allows people to comfortably settle into their work. So character trait number seven is a sense of humor. So how'd you do? I'm sure you scored well on some and maybe a little weaker on a few. No worries, we're all works in progress, especially when it comes to leadership. See, safety is the new leadership. Look for these traits in yourself and your teammates. And if you want to talk about leadership and safety at your next safety meeting, I'd be pleased to help.